Hello, I am Dr. Gajendra Purohit. You are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for engineering, mathematics, BSc students. If you are preparing for any exam where there is higher mathematics, our channel is very helpful for you. So I am teaching discrete mathematics where I have uploaded many videos. I have also uploaded graph theory. There are a couple of topics left including numeric functions and generating functions. Today we will be discussing this topic. What is a numeric function and what is a generating function? How we derive generating function with the help of numeric function I will be explaining. Here I want to tell you that if you haven't watched my previous videos you can go to iTab. You will find the link in description there. You can find my old mathematics videos in the description. Students, first we'll talk about numeric functions and what is a numeric function. Now a function is denoted by a0, a1, a2, ar, which is going infinite. When there is ar, that is its rth term. For example, we have 1, 8, 27, it keeps on going. Here you can see that what we have is this r to the power of 3. If we put 1, we get 1 on 2, we get 8. On 3, we get 27. So this follows a certain formula. And what is the formula? That formula is the rth term. If we put r there, t. Like here, we have these given 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 31, 63, right? So, you will see here from 0 to 4. 3R is here. Whatever term we have like R, if we put 0, we get 0. On 1, we get 3. On 2, we get 6. On 3, we get 9. If we put 4, it will be 12. As soon as we put 5, then this is following it. 2 power 5 is minus 1, that is 32 minus 1, it's 31. So, in this way, what is this doing? It's following. So, what is this? It will be the rth term. Let's take another example. Suppose here we have 1, then here 3, then here 5. Then we have 7. So what do we have here? This rth term will be there. Then here AP is coming. So the rth term that we'll be having is 2R minus 1, right? As soon as you take out the value, then you can easily see this. Okay. By this way, we can understand it. We'll discuss generating function of a numeric function. The generating function in this context is defined over the numeric function. Any numeric function that is given... We have to do nothing. There you multiply each term with z. I will show you how it is done. For example, let's say that this is our numeric function. In this numeric function, keep first term constant multiply, second by z, third by z, square, fourth by z cube. A series that will be made here, students. For this series, what will be there? This will be the generating function of this numeric function, right? For example, like we have this, this is given to us. Clear? If I were to create generating function for this, what we get here, 1 plus 8, z plus 27, z square, plus it goes on, do you understand? So what would this be, students? It will be the generating function. Here, if I talk about its generating function, then what will we get? 0 plus 3z plus 6z square plus 9z cube. This way we get this. So this will be the generating function of this numeric function, right? You need to understand this. The numeric function is this and the generating function here is this. Clear? Based on this, many questions are asked in exam. Now what happens is that like when this type of series comes to us, this series has a value. What do we have? It's the generating function, right? This is the whole series. Now we will solve the series and find its sum. The sum that we get it will be the generating function. I will give an example. Let me give you a small example. Like suppose we have this numeric function which is given to us. Suppose the numeric function is coming to us as 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and so on. Right? For every term here, what will we do? The first one will be there. Then second one will be multiplied by z. Third one by z square. Fourth one by z cube. So this will go till infinite. And we know this is, this will be the generating function. We will calculate the sum. What is happening here? Here infinite and geometric series is coming and we know what is the sum. It's 1 minus 1, 1 upon 1 minus r. This will be 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus z. So this will become what? This is the generating function of this numeric function. So we can understand it like this. So we have ar is equal to r given. So here we have ar is equal to r given, which means that the first term we have will be 0, then the second will be 1, the third will be 2, and then 3 and so on. Now students, what we will do is multiply it by z. See then, we will get 0, then it will be z, then it will be 2z square, then it will be 3z cube. Keep it going like this, right? Now we have to calculate the sum, so the sum that we have is, it's z by whole square of 1 minus z. If we expand it back, then we get a series, right? If we have this r square in the same way, so the term we will have, what will be the numeric function here? 
So the numeric function here, what is that? It will be 0, then it will be 1, then 4. Then what will we have here? Now it will come like this. Now what do you do here? Find the generating function for this. So we have 0 plus z plus 4z square plus 9z cube. This will come, we will calculate the sum of this. So the sum that we get z into z plus 1 upon whole cube of 1 minus z. We will simplify, it will come again. Keep this in mind, some standard results are there you need to remember. Because if such questions come in exam, we should know. For example, like if we have this given nc0, nc1, then nc2 is coming here, like this. Here what is this? We are getting numeric function. If we get its generating function, then the value of nc0 will be 1 only. So this will be 1 to us. Then this will become nc1z, then this will become nc2z square. This is how it keeps coming to us. This term that we have, what is it? It's 1 plus z power n. Its expansion happens. Expansion of 1 plus z is this. Here, what is this? It's 1. Please correct it. The value of this will be 1. What do we have? It's 1 plus z power n. We do it in this way. Similarly, if we are given alpha power r, we have alpha power r. What will we have here? Alpha power 0, then alpha power 1, then alpha power 2, alpha cube. So, what do we have? It will be the numeric function. On finding generating function value of alpha power 0 is 1, so 1. This will become alpha z and this will become alpha square z square. Here this will be alpha cube z cube. We are seeing a geometric progression here. The value of r is alpha z. We know that the sum is 1 upon 1 minus r. This will be 1 minus alpha z. So its generating function that we have is this. So this is generating function. This is its expansion. Now simplifying it, whatever its sum will be, it will be the generating function, right? In exam, you will be given a numeric function and you will be asked to find its generating function. First, you have to find the series, then calculate the sum and solve it, right? Let's move on. Now, we have this example to find the generating function of 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. What we will do? First, we'll find its generating function, so it will be 2. This will be 4z, this will be 8z square, 16z cube. So, this will be its term. So, what is common? Here, 2 is common. You see this 2z, the square of 2z, cube of 2z. We will get it this way. So what will we get? Geometric series is coming. See from here we have taken out the common 2. So this is 1 plus 4z. We took out 2 common, so it's 2z. Then this will come here from 2 common, we get 4z square. Here we have whole square of 2z. We will take 2 common, so it's 8z, so cube of 2z is coming. See what we have is a geometric series for which the sum is 1 upon 1 minus r. That is 1 upon 1 minus 2z. Like here, where the value of 2z should be less than 1, only then this sum will be defined. Right, students? You need to pay attention. Let's move on. Given here, to find the generating function of this function, right? We have two terms. Here, what we will do? We will take out az whenever we have generating function. What we do is, we multiply this with z. Then whatever terms we have, we put them here. Like if I tell you about this, what would come here? 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, right? In this way it comes. This z is constant. This is z multiplied, this z square, this z cube. So ultimately what can we do here? Ultimately series is made here, right? We will take its sum and write down. So here our method of writing. We can write it as ARZR summation R is equal to 0 to infinity ARZR, where the value of AR is. It's multiplied by ZR and is separated. So this is a numeric function and we have converted it to a generating function here. Now we know that we have a geometric series, remember? Here this is coming, r is equal to 0 to infinity and this is coming to z power r. So our value that we are getting is this. You will get 1 upon 1 minus 2z type, okay? This way it will be 1 upon 1 minus 3z, where 2z and 3z, the value should be less than 1. Then next we'll find the LCM, simplify it and then we will get the generating function. So we'll solve it in this way. The next question Find the generating function of the Fibonacci sequence defined by this a0, a1 is given. Here we can do this question in two ways. Either we extract the term out of it in the same way we normally did in the previous question. But here what we will do is we will try to prove it through a different way. Right. What we will do, we'll get its generating function from here. Here we have az. We know what we have with a0 is a1, az. a2, z square, a3, z cube. What we have here is the summation r equals 0 to infinity of a r z r. This is a generating function when we have numeric function given. So now what we will do? We will apply another method to solve this because this kind of question is asked. This question is asked many times in the exam, right? I am explaining the easy way to solve it. You should try that way which is better. So here what we will do? We have the Fibonacci sequence here. We will multiply both sides by z r and then we'll take the summation. 
In summation, if we take r is equal to 2 to infinity, we have a0 and a1 given. You need to pay attention here. What are we going to do? I'll tell you further, okay, what we did. This was the Fibonacci sequence. Here we multiplied it by z power r and took summation. We will use this and we'll find the value of this here, right? What we'll do here is we will keep r equal to 2. So this will come here, a2z square. Then next will come, a3z cube, right? This term will come to us. Is it clear? We will discuss this the same way. So here when r equals to 2 is placed. What will we have here? When we put its value here, it will be a1. This will be z square, right? Then this will come to us as a2. A2z cube will come. This way we will have its term. Next we have second one, like the third one. Here we will put 2. So a0 will come. So what we will have here is a0. Then z square will come. Then it will be a1z cube. This type of term will come here to us. This term will come. Now you will need to take some help here from this. This az, we will take help from it. Clear. Now I want to tell you that. Here we have the value of this. Please focus this value. We have this value. What is the value? Az minus a0, a1z. This needs to be considered. So what are we going to do here? First, we'll simplify it and this will give a2z square plus a3z cube, right? So this is what we'll get. Here what we will do is we will take out z common by z common. It will be a1z plus a2z square. Through this way, we will have this term plus from here we will take z square common. So this will be here a0 plus a1z. A1z will be here students. Here A1z will come on this side. Here series will come. Now we will take its help. Here the value of this A2z square, A3z cube. From here we can put this value as minus A0 minus A1z. Right? We will keep this value here. So what will come? So students, see here, this will come to us. Az minus A0 minus A1z is equal to. From here, what will be its value? So this value that we have, what will it be? will be subtracted by a0. So it will become z into az minus a0. And its value is directly a0, right? This means az is coming. So this will be az. It is clear. So what will be here? It will be the term. Now put the value of a0 and a1 here. This will come here, az. Value of a0 is 0. And what is the value of az students? Value of a1 is coming as 1 and this z will come. It will become as az and a0 anyways is 0. So it doesn't matter. And this will come to us, z square az will come, right? We will take this az term altogether. So I will take these two az terms here. This will come az minus z az minus z square az will come is equal to. We will take this z to the other side, so it will come. Now if we take out az common from here, it will be 1 minus z minus z square into az is equal to here, we will have z. So students, the value of az that we have here will be what? Listen. It will come to a z upon 1 minus z minus z square. So here what will we get? It's generating function. Through this way, we solve it here. Let's take the next question. Next question is like here you can see the proof. Next question we have find generating function of the sequence. We have this numeric function here. So first what we will do is put the value of r right. We will put the value of r as 0, then 1, then 2. We will get the value here. When we put 0, we have this a0 coming, here a1 is coming, a2 is coming. So the numeric function we will have is 2, 18 and then 108 in this way, we will keep getting these. What we will do is it will become a constant, it will come as 18z. This will come here as 108z square, right? This is how it will come. Now let's take out the sum. So first we will take out the 2 common, so it will be 1 plus 9z. Plus from here if you take 2 common, then this will come here, 54, right? 54z square will come. In this way, we have this value, right? So listen here, if we have all the terms coming as plus, we need to pay attention to whether these two are both plus or these two are both minus, right students? If both are minus, then minus minus is plus. We will check here because we have this 1 plus n. 1 plus x power n comes, then its formula is 1 plus nc1 x plus nc2. So this type is not forming here. So listen here the concept that we have, what will it be? It will be 1 plus, then this will be minus 3 and here we have minus 3z plus here students we will get minus 3 and minus 3 which will be minus 1 upon 2 factorial will come here. Okay students, into here we have what will come is minus 3z whole square from this term here what we have, term will be made. So if you see this, then this will come to us as 1 minus 3z power minus 3 will come. So this will become as we will have 2 upon 1 minus 3z cube. So what will we have? 
its generating function. So we will solve it here in this way. Clear? Now let's see what the next question says. Find the generating function of the sequence we have this given. When r is even, we have this given. When r is odd, then this is given. How do we find it? So we know this first, we will extract its numeric function here. Now when r is odd, first we'll keep 0. So that will give us 1, right? Then we'll talk about odd. If we keep it odd, this will be 1. If we keep it here, it will be minus 2, right? We will have this, so it will be 4. Then this will be 2 to the power 2, right? Then this will come minus 2 to the power cube. So this way we will get its numeric function, right? Now if we do this, it will be 1 minus. This will be 2z plus 2 square, z square minus 2 cube, z cube. This way the terms will form, right? So you are seeing here that the term which is coming. Term that is coming here, how is it formed? This is being formed. A geometric series type is being formed and this is being formed here plus. So see here, it will be minus 2z plus this will be minus 2z whole square plus this will be minus 2z cube is coming right. So we have this term right and we know that the value we have is 1 upon 1 minus r so it will become minus 2z. Here this will come 1 plus 2z so this value will come. So in this way here we calculate its generating function. So thank you for watching. How did you like my video? Please comment down and let me know. I have a playlist where many videos on discrete mathematics graph theory are uploaded. You can check out. This is my new channel where I'm uploading many short tricks. You can go here and check out. Subscribe to the new channel here. You can follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching me. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.